I don't know what I'd do. I probably would go somewhere else. Kroger is no longer accepting Visa credit cards at a California subsidiary called Foods Company. That impacts customers in places like Sacramento and San Francisco. And it has customers in Cincinnati wondering if we're next. Yes, it is very popular. They take Visa everywhere. <laughs> For Nisha Cook, a trip to Kroger happens often. As you see, um, got a lot of baby supplies and food. Cook says she paid for her cart full of groceries with her Visa credit card. Yeah, that's the inconvenience. I don't like to carry cash, so I normally pay with my Visa card. The dispute is over Visa's annual swipe fees. Kroger says the fees are too high, and it's threatening to add to the list of stores banning Visa. For many of the local Kroger customers I spoke to, they tell me if the grocery chain stops accepting Visa credit cards, it would be a huge inconvenience for the consumers. I don't know where I'd shop because I shop in person and I do online with delivery occasionally, all with my Visa. Corinne Mitchell says if the decision goes nationwide, Kroger could lose many customers. And the consumers are the ones that are being hurt. The decision will not affect Visa debit cards issued through banks, but Mitchell says the reason she uses credit cards over debit cards is for safety. And there's always issues with that too because then you're putting in your pin and you're prone to theft or corruption or if they hack into the system. While the ban in California starts August 14th, customers here hope a resolution between Kroger and Visa happens sooner than later. In Coryville, Natalie Clark, WLWT News 5.